I got this 1998 Chevrolet GMT 400 with a GMC grill that I bought from a teenager or a early 20s, a young person. And uh, I got screwed over in the deal because it's uh, an out of province vehicle. So I've made lots of videos where I'm fixing things and uh, making things new again and repairing things. But I haven't made a video of destroying things. I just, uh, I, I like fixing things more than I like destroying them, but uh, I think this is one for the destroying section of the videos. Uh, I'm not going to be fixing this truck. It's most likely going to end up at the wreckers because I can't register it. So let's check the condition of this GMT 400 before I start giving it the beans. It's a shame the glow plug relay is still good in it. Yeah, that's probably why a lot of uh, six fives last as long as they do, because they all have rev limiters. You know, I could stay there forever. But not too bad, still lots of life left. But head gasket's gone, it's burning white. So, a little bit of blow by. Probably uh, passenger side head gasket is gone. Look at that, brand new windshield. Four wheel drive, a little bit of tread on the tires. Box is uh, pretty well completely rusted. Exhaust pipe sitting in the back. It's cut off about right here. Okay, what to do with it now? Okay, so 4x4 four four is engaged. We're going to start off small. Big is still working in it. still intact oh oh no my uh, license plate holder broke
rocker. Yeah, I think that's good enough with the concrete blocks. That last one kind of jarred my back a little bit and I'm uh, due for physio. Jarred loose. A couple jugs of anisees. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Lots of life. Drove the truck to Red Deer, no issues. Yeah, there's two jugs of antifreeze in the back and it's blowing white smoke everywhere. Okay, so it's uh, springtime now. Uh, the truck uh, shut it off and it would, wouldn't start when I came back. Uh, when I ran over the concrete there, it crushed the driver's side of the body and uh, it cut the wires to the fuel pump. So uh, the truck's going to the scrapyard tomorrow and uh, we're losing the light so uh, I got to quickly uh, wreck this thing. So over in the distance there, I set a trap for uh, some drug addict, burglar, degenerate types that uh, while I was working came here and stole a bunch of my tools in the winter time. And then uh, they're cutting the fence and then driving in. So I, I set a, a bit of a trap there. I turned some harrows upside down. So I want to see if that trap uh, would actually stop somebody. So I'm going to go drive over the harrows because I don't remember where they are and they're like hidden by the grass now. Yeah, it runs great like the young man said. Uh, I have a better idea. Uh, I want to do a durability test. I was watching the video of the Ford Raptor where they're, where they're lifting it up and dropping it to, to test the shock absorbers. Hang on, I'll do the same thing. immediately no no wouldn't happen that fast gotta drive over the harrows you can't die pressure when it was up in the air. Could try another battery I guess. Yeah. 
That's a brand new thousand amp battery. Yeah, this truck was a disappointment for me right from the start. It's time for it to go, but I got a harrow right here. I gotta try to see if it'll pop the tire. the one tire because I dropped it on it but the other tire but the other tire is sitting right on the harrow now so it's right on the spike there right now and I heard a like a, a pop a pop and a pop as it drove over the two uh, spikes but right on the spike of a harrow uh, if you're gonna set a trap make sure you sharpen those spikes up the ones on the front pop because uh, it hit the sidewall like it, it grabbed on the sidewall and punctured the tire that way but right in the center of the tire I think uh, with the steel belting and the nylon belting on the those are crap tires but they are a truck tire so probably a little bit of something to keep them from getting popped really bad anyway eventually it's got to pop right yeah pretty hard to pop that sucker Uh, that's going to pop right on me. Okay, so it's on the sidewall. Oh, you bugger. There, it's in the tire for sure now. For sure it is, because it disappeared. Maybe the harrow broke off. No, it's in the tire. Yeah. Okay, so how do I get it out now? You ever have a 100 pound tire blow up next to you? It's not very fun. LARPing weapons, you know, LARPing where you're live action role playing. So he was keeping that in the back of his truck in case he had a beef with someone, I guess. 
and uh, I wanted to see if I could throw that through the windshield. It's a brand new windshield, no, not a crack or uh, chip in it, so I'm gonna see if I can throw that through it. Okay, so that that's about as much fun I want to have with this thing at the moment. I don't have any lights set up and uh, I'm not going to be able to see anything anyway. So a little bit of a disappointment. You had to die like that, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So just like this deal. It ended with a disappointing video too. <laughs>